Uh, uh. Welcome back to Sports Rap Live, everybody. Yeah. Thank you very much, G. I feel like money tonight. We got bonus time to talk March Madness. And we are going to be out there at Damon Busters this Sunday from 7 to 10 p.m. to let you guys know if the if the committee got it right. I know what I'm doing. I'm playing that horse game. Oh, where yeah? The, where you throw the ball and the horse keeps moving huh. more and more. Old school. You're going to see me over there. <laughs> Woo! I got revenge on this one person. That's Astroworld. That's taking it back. Oh, that, yeah, that is Astroworld. You might as well be shooting the water gun to make the, Man, make that, the balloon go I hated go that game. They rigged it. All the, the little kids always win that. The thing. little kids and the hot girls. They always win that. Absolutely, absolutely. Blue. You know who's winning right now? Andrew Martinez. It, it is conference tournament What a time. way to segment into that. Join the bracket challenge. You have to. Go to Sports 790. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Join the rap pack. I'm trying, I'm trying to see how quick I'm going to lose. I'll tell you right now. Andrew. Anyone who's here at Junction that wants to sign up, I'll sign you up on my computer. I'll do it for you. Wow. Wow. You just got to come sit next to me and I'll do it for you. All the work out of it. I'll take all the work out of it. I'll sign you up. And he's going to put you in the rap pack. That's right. I'll the put you in the rap pack, pack but, league. But he'll make sure that you don't win before, you know, he does. As far as like the bracket. It might all link back to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might yeah. be putting in extra bids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Damn, Rick Neuheisel. Don't give him yeah, all, don't right. give him all the secrets. <laughs> you even got your coach's outfit on tonight. That's you right, got I the do. slacks and the uh, polo, man. That's right. DTI. Rocking some corduroy. Dressed to impress. All right, Andrew, the Martinez report continues. We're going to talk about who's already punched their ticket. And Gons has that cash register fired up yep. because they're going to be on their way to a chance to play in the Final Four in New Orleans. For the weekend, the last weekend of March, first weekend of April, cannot wait. We'll start right off the bat with Atlantic Sun. We got Belmont that, that's in. And we talked about Belmont last week, Adam. They had played Duke to almost a tie, almost, you know, it was beat them earlier this season. They're from the uh, Atlantic Sun. Next, we got Man Montana from the Big Sky. They're probably not going to have a very high seed. They'll probably end up somewhere in the 15. They'll be in that, that at, the automatic qualifier that's kind of the back end of the tournament, the 14, 15, 16 seeds. Uh, after that, we got UNC Asheville. That was a pretty interesting game. I watched them play the other day. Uh, they're from the Big South. After that, we have a sort of a fan favorite, VCU. We all remember them from last year. Shaka Smart. Yeah, let's get that there we go. cash register for VCU. There we go. Shaka Smart back with another team again. So it's kind of interesting to see. They lost a couple seniors. It kind of shows how good of a coach he is that he can do it again. You know. Well, when it comes when it means something, when it comes tournament time, because they really didn't have a very good regular season. They weren't even on your radar after making a run to the Final Four last year. No, they weren't. I didn't even think they should have made the tournament last year, and that's its own debate. But, I mean, it's impressive to see him do it again. Uh, after that, we have Detroit from the Horizon League. That was one that it's its so sad to see Butler not make it after, you know, making it to the national championship two years in a row. So Butler's done? Butler's done. They're not ah. making it in. It's, it's sad, though, because you, you watch, you know, Brad Stevens, and you pull for him. You pull for that team so much because you know what they're made of. Uh, after that, we have... Meanwhile, uh, Gordon Hayward is throwing balls up in the dunk contest. That's true. That's true. We got the Ivy League Harvard. There was a little, you know, a game between Penn and I think it was Princeton to see if there was going to be a one-game playoff, which there was last year, but no one-game playoff this year, Harvard. Harvard, when they found out, there was jokes that they were actually, they all found out in the library because they were all studying for finals. Well, and they also found out that Jeremy Lin technically still plays for Harvard, but they brought him up to the Knicks. <laughs> they didn't know. Who knew? <laughs> Next, and next we have the Metro. Well, that was the first time they punched their ticket in 60-something Oh, yeah, years. it's an incredible, incredible feat for that Harvard team. And if you, I'm sure that there are plenty of Harvard alums that are going to put down money to go watch them play. Including our president. Yep. I heard uh, the Bill Simmons uh, interview with him. He was talking about he might take credit for Jeremy Lin. Who? Obama? He, yeah, well, then he knew that he had people that were telling him about Rob's it before. Rob's Obama. I'm sure there's people on our sister stations that would love to know that information, and they heard it right here on Sports Rap Live. Next, we got uh, Loyola. I think it's Maryland. That's only I say I think it is because there's two, Loyola Marymount and Loyola Maryland. They're from the Metro. After that, we have Creighton from the Missouri Valley. This is a Creighton team. I'm telling you right now, Adam, I'm probably going to pick them to go to the Sweet 16. Okay. I don't know what the bracket looks like right now, but I'm probably going to pick them to go pretty far. Is this this year's Butler? I don't know if they're Sweet New Year's Butler, first? but okay. they're a team that I think is a strong, one of the stronger mid-majors of the season. Awesome. They beat out Wichita State, who I've been touting for most of the season as the best mid-major team. Sure. Northeast, we got Long Island. Long Island's probably going to be another one of those teams that will Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Hang on. You got, you got some premium Pete G. If you're going to say Long Island, you better say the full name of that school and represent premium Pete to the Long, full. The Long Island Ice Tees. 
No. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Long Island University of Brooklyn, son. Oh. Right as he this plays. Is Brooklyn talking to you. You are now listening to Sports Rap Live on Sports Talk 790 AM. And well, that school got in. They'll probably get slayed by a one seed. That's Brooklyn, son. Spike Lee was in the building last night Represent. After that, we got the Ohio yeah, Valley. He doesn't care. Murray State. Shout out to Pete. Murray State. This is a team we've been talking about all season, Adam. They're in. Murray State, the Racers, they're in for sure. The Patriot League, we got Lehigh. They're in. Uh, next after that, Southern League, Davidson. I watched a couple of these games that Davidson was playing. They were playing against uh, Dikembe Mutombo's kid. It's true. Yeah, so that Ooh. was kind of interesting. Dikembe Mutombo is in a little bit of hot water. I don't know if you guys heard the story. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with the, uh, the gold. Yeah. Ouch. Gold. Wait, wait, wait. I think he's been doing too many uh, uh, S&D scrap metal commercials. What are you talking about, <laughs> Adam? What, are you <laughs> <laughs> what he told What he told the customs was he just wanted to get paid in $2 bills. I told you that's what I want to get paid in. <laughs> $2 bills. $2 bills, man. So I hope At any rate, Bob right. McKillop's team is in. His son's balling out. So Yeah. So Davidson's in, Bob McKillop's team. The Summit League, we got South Dakota State. I'm telling you, this is a team that we got and the players we're going to talk about, Nate Walters. Who? Nate Walters. You heard it here first. This kid, you got to keep an eye out for him. He's a good player. What's he play? Guard. Okay. The next team, I, this is the story I want to touch on right now, is Western Kentucky. They won the Sun Belt. This team fired their coach in the middle of the season, Adam, <laughs> and still are making the NCAA tournament. Shout out to Courtney Lee. Shout out to Jeremy Evans, who who won the dunk contest this year, Western Kentucky alums. Courtney Lee sent us a very special interview, just a two or three minute interview about how he selects sneakers, and we're gonna play that later on in the show tonight. They started out five and eleven, fired their coach, got a new coach, and are in. That's that I imagine that AD must feel great awesome. about himself. Yeah. Awesome. I fired you and I kept on moving on. So, props to him. And the last one we're going to touch on is St. Mary's in the West Coast. They beat Gonzaga. That was an incredible, incredible, incredible game that they played in Las Vegas. So, uh, I'm looking forward to all these different majors that have already punched their ticket. We still have the WAC, the Southland, which will be played in Katy, Texas, which is close to us. Uh, let's see. That's at the Merrill Center. The Mountain West. We still have that one to go. The MIAC, the MAC. Uh, Conference USA, which we've had some teams bounce out of that that we've been hey, keeping up with. Shout out to the Cougs. You played hard, but you lost in overtime. Rice, dude, nice you got, effort. Rice got clowned by East Carolina by well, two hey, points. Hey, shout out to H-Town, but it ain't your year. No. And the American East. And the Atlantic 10. So we still got a few stragglers out there that will come up. And all these tournaments will be over by... Probably by Saturday and Sunday, it'll just be the big ones that are left. Well, of course, because we got Selection Sunday live from David Buster's right over there on I-10. Of course, you know the Marquee Center. Back in the day, that was the Tony Hawk Van Skate Park right in that complex. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I it's remember that. Skateboard history for That's you here, skate, man. Yeah. That was that was a great spot for a little bit, man. My kids skated there back in the day. Um, but you know what, Andrew? I want to ask you before we get to the top of the hour, give us some of your surprise teams. We've talked about some of the ones we know of, you know, the perennial Gonzagas the Wichita State this year that you've been talking about all year. But give us a couple surprise teams that could be this year's VCU or is VCU this year's VCU? They could be this year's VCU. Some surprise teams. Uh, it's tough to say. It Really, you have to look at the bracket before you can start picking out teams. I'm already going to throw my name out there and say that I'm behind San Diego, uh, South Dakota State. All right. I believe in Nate Walters. I believe in that team. So that's that's someone I'm gunning for, and I think they could show up because they have one of those players that can carry you. You know, a Kemba. Probably, yeah, that UConn well, is missing this year. I don't year. know if he's a Kemba, but he's one of those players that can maybe carry you around or two. Maybe a Gemma. It could be. It could be. Uh, some other teams that are playing on the radar. I think Belmont needs to be taken for real. I mean, we, we kind of touched on them a little bit here and there, but I think they're a team that shoots enough threes. You really need to find teams that shoot a lot of threes because if you can, those are the teams that can kind of get fire, catch fire like VCU did last year and kind of shoot their way into a uh, couple rounds. Sure, absolutely. For so these schools, it's just about getting past a couple rounds once your program kind of gets on the map. Gonzaga did the same thing, and now yeah. they are perennially, perennially in the tournament. Right. I think Harvard is a team that we really should take seriously. I mean, they this is the best Harvard team probably ever. I think the Ivy is a little bit underrated. I, I would not be surprised if this Harvard team can go around, maybe two, maybe, maybe even make it to the second weekend. Andrew, my last question before we get to the top of the hour. Could we ever see in our lifetime a 16 knockoff of one? Yeah, we're going to see it happen. Really? It, yeah, it's going to happen eventually. Because you just look at how many teams we're including. The more and more and more teams that we include, 
by adding, you know, this, we were at 64, now we're at 68. Who's to say we don't tinker with that some more and, and now it's 72 or, you know, it's just the more teams you start adding in into the middle, it seems like eventually we're going to have that point come to where one of those 16 does. It hasn't happened yet, but I think it will. Just because you, you keep on adding more teams. Yep. So. Well, right now it's 68 teams. And that bracket is ready for you to fill out on sports790.com. Everybody pretty much at the station is now on board. I know G was over here doing it during the middle of the show. Sign yep. up. It's that easy. So uh, you guys go to sports790.com and fill out your own bracket and go ahead and get in our group. We are Rat Pack. You'll see it right there on the homepage. And join our group and we'll all just kind of see what method works the most. Some people pick by color. Some people pick by parts of the country. Some people pick by mascots like my boy Jay Nature over here. So I'm using the LRMC Bayesian theory this year. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is statistically the best. What is it? Uh, uh, we are all your base belong to us. Uh, all your base are belong to us. Yes. That's what you sound like when you say that, man. The LMRC yeah. Bayesian. That's what I'm going with this year. <laughs> exactly. Guys, what method you are you going with? You can go with Sagarin if you want to. Sagarin's good. Ken Palm's good. Mm. More you, like just... Just from what I'm used to knowing, like the, I guess the power teams. Chalk. Basically. Chalk. Basically. Chalk. We should all. I have no method to the madness. We this should all take eh. a different approach. All right. When we fill out our brackets on Sunday, because we're going to fill them out live on air. Andrew, oh, yeah. You're going to give us the breakdown, matchups, segment by segment, sure. region by region. I cannot wait for this. Mine's going to be, um, I just got this feeling. That's pretty much what all mine are going to be. Hey, you never gut, know. It's the gut feeling theory. Basically. The fives versus twelves, the seven versus tens, Ooh. the eights versus nines. Ooh. You know, the fours versus thirteens. You know, you, the upset city's coming. Look, the only thing that I would really bow out and and say, you know what, you take precedence over us being on the air is March Madness, because you can't help but be tuned in from the first tip until the final four, and we're going to be tuned in. Oh, I can't wait. Time. I'm going to Vegas for the second uh, the second round, and then New Orleans for the final four. Yeah. It's going to be great. I love this. This is my favorite part of the year. Oh, spring training's right around the corner? Yep. We're going to talk baseball tonight. Yep. The NL West, West Coast. I'm driving around today listening to 790. they got some of the games on from spring training. Sure. It's great. And Sister Station 740, KTRH. Yep. You know they're the home of the Astros. Milo Hamilton, basically in his last year. I saw yep. Milo in the elevator the other day. And you know what? He's looking great. He's looking awesome. So you guys want to tune in? Oh, he, he pulls up the chart. Oh my God! The Rain Man of college basketball, March Madness, here at the table tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Me, Andrew Martinez. Yeah, one more time. All right, hey, we're gonna keep it on the hardwood and open up the rap sheet. It's brought to you by Diamond Supply Co. and DiamondSupplyCo.com. So you guys stick around right to the top. When we get back. We're gonna talk some NBA basketball. We ready right here on Sports Rap Live. 